Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a whole different video, like a whole nother video that you guys ain't used to see me doing. Today I'm going to do some clippings, and this hair is from Curls Queen, and I'll be sure to link all their information down below. So I'm really gonna kind of walk you through this process. They're really easy, but I just wanted to show y'all I can do different stuff other than lace on my page. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the texture of this hair is yakky straight if you guys wanted to know. So my model today is my aunt, Risha, of course, you know, y'all, this lady be coming through for me at 9, 10 o'clock at night if I want her to. Anyway, I really didn't show the whole shampoo because I know you guys not really interested in all that. But what I do is I shampoo the hair twice and I condition it and make sure you find some great detangling condition so it'll be easy on the blowout process. Now, when you get to that, listen. You want to blow out the hair as straight as possible first. Then, after you do that, you want to put the clip-ins in first. The reason why? Because after you flat out your clip-ins, your hair is going to be too silky for the clips to hold on to. So, you kind of want that little rough texture at the root for the clip-ins to have something to hold on to so they don't just be slipping out your head, basically. So now all you want to do is get your clippings and basically just clip it in. It's real simple. You push them out to the clip it in and when you get it onto the roots of the hair, you push it back in, y'all. When I say this is so simple, it is a great way to make your hair longer or fuller or even add a pop of color if you want. Now, like I said before, all I do is I do the clippings first and flat iron it all together or straighten it all together, curl it, whatever you want to do so it can blend more. And the reason why you see so much hair getting left out like that is because I want her to be able to pull her hair up in a ponytail if she wants to a half up, half down. Basically, I want her to have versatility. So that's why you see the hair left out. You see how it looks seamless when it pulled up in a ponytail? That's why it's like that. Now, after I get done, I'm going to put um, a little more heat protectant on her hair. And I'm just going to straighten it all out. And then I'll have some pictures at the end showing you guys the different styles that we achieve with these. 